Welcome back. Those of us who work out know that you can get that runner's high, that rush of endorphins, but a recent local study shows it can go even farther. A good workout can help reduce anxiety. That study was done by Van Andel Institute's Lena Brunden, who also had her work featured in the New York Times. Lena, good morning. She joins us live right now. Tell us all good about- morning. Hi, Lena. Thanks so much for being here. Tell us all about your study and, and what you found about exercise and anxiety. <clears throat> Yeah, so this was a, a large uh, study on almost 400,000 participants and half of them were long distance skiers participating in one of the world's largest ski races in Sweden. And uh, so what we found was that participants in the ski race had almost um, or more than half a reduction in the risk of falling ill with anxiety disorders for up to two decades after participating in the ski race. Wow. Mm. So what can we draw from those conclusions? How can people take this information and put it to good use in their own lives? Well, so exercise has several very beneficial effects and uh, those effects can be biological. So for example, anxiety um, can be reduced when inflammation in your body goes down. So my research group works on the effects of inflammation on the brain causing depression, anxiety, and fatigue. And the exercise actually decreases those factors. So it has a biological effect. And also uh, exercise has a, an acute distracting effect on anxiety, so. Lena, you studied long distance skiers, as you mentioned. So does this give folks maybe who are watching this morning hope that you don't have to go be a runner or lift super heavy weights to do this. Maybe you can enjoy an activity that you like, like skiing or you know, getting outside on a hike or something like that uh, in order to exercise. You know, it's not just a typical run type of thing. Absolutely. And it doesn't have to be elite type of exercise. It can be a moderate or even light exercise will have an anxiety reducing effect. And also just getting out and getting sunlight will help you produce vitamin D, which we have also seen in studies has a beneficial effect on mental health. Um, and, and so people can go out, they can do this. Does it matter? Did you guys study at all the uh, impact of how much exercise people need? I mean, do they need, the, you know, this is a long distance race, so this was, you know, quite a, an endurance activity. Um, how much exercise does someone need to, to really make a difference? So uh, it's good to, uh, to achieve a moderate level of exercise, but actually we saw in the elite skiers, we didn't see the anxiety reducing effects. So uh, we can definitely draw the conclusion that you don't have to be an elite athlete to have the, the effect. Lena, is there anything else you wanna to add to our viewers this morning who might be thinking about getting out there and getting active? Is there anything else you want to add? Light or moderate exercise is definitely sufficient. But um, so we did see that in the elite skiers, we didn't see the anxiety reducing effect. So there could potentially be too much. You don't have to be an elite athlete to achieve anxiety reduction. Wonderful. That's Just good a news. little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lena, thank you so yes. much for your time this morning. We really appreciate it. What an interesting study. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you.